Hello everyone, this video tutorial will help you to configure the SMTP server settings in your Postmaster. So to start with, let's log in into Postmaster as an admin. Once you have logged in, go to Postmaster, Mail, SMTP. This is here where you can configure the SMTP server settings. The first option states that whether your SMTP server service is on or off. If you want to switch it off, click over here, click on confirm and the SMTP server service will be stopped. Next, if you want to change the port where your SMTP server is bind to, you have to shut down the service, change the port and restart the service again. Under enable login, that is this is for activating or deactivating the, the SMTP log settings. You can select normal, detailed, let's select detailed and click on confirm. Server settings have been set successfully. So now if you want to view the SMTP server logs, go on the right hand side and choose the option view logs. That is here you can see the logs which has been generated for your SMTP server. Do remember that logs can be set 30 days or less than that. Let's close this window and let's go to the access control. Access control rules actually defines the first level firewall against the intruders. The rules define which machines to allow access to the services, which machines to restrict access to and which machines to accept from the rules. So to start with first you enable the option by clicking status. Then you select the rule type under rule that is there are two rules deny all accept and allow all accept. Next is type the IP address or the range of IP address to be excluded from the rule type selection in the accept list text box in the access control section. So let's put 192.168.1.1 so this is the range of my IP address under exception to accept list let's select one ID this is the IP that I have selected so under accept list say for example to allow access to everyone except those machines having an IP address this you enable access control and add 192.168.0. star in the accept list then under exceptions to accept list like to prevent users in the local network from accessing the server you have typed the range over here in the accept list now if you want to allow access to a few users from this range you type the ip address in the exceptions to accept list click on confirm and save your settings under rule if you have selected say allow all except then what happens is all the IP addresses in the exceptions to accept list and all other than the those in the accept list are allowed to use the SMTP service and if you have selected deny all except then all the IP addresses which has been defined in the exceptions to accept list and all other than those which are being defined in the accept list are denied the use of this SMTP service. Let's scroll down and click on relay auth settings. Now, relaying is used to enable the postmaster enterprise to receive email from outside the local network or from email IDs which are not defined in your postmaster enterprise and are forwarded remotely. So basically relaying enables their non-postmaster enterprise users to connect to the postmaster enterprise and send their email using the postmaster enterprise SMTP server. So to enable the relay settings select enabled then under authentication exception that is if you want to put any IP address for this relay settings not to work you put the IP address this is how you add the IP address where this authentication exception will be accepted 
नेक्स्ट अंदर ऑथेंटिकेशन फॉर मेल्स ओरिजिनेटिंग फ्रॉम लोकल आईपी एड्रेस सी सेंटर ऑथेंटिकेशन इज यूज टू इंश्योर दैट पोस्ट मास्टर एंटरप्राइज ऑथेंटिकेट्स बाय यूजिंग अ लॉगिंग एंड द पासवर्ड द ईमेल व्हिच इज बीइंग रिसीव फ्रॉम द सेंडर्स सो फ्रॉम सिक्योरिटी पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू इट इज रिकमेंडेड दैट दिस फीचर बी एनेबल under enforce authentication you have relay mails that is these are the mails which are originating from a local ip that is your lan then domain mails which are generating from the domain apart from the one being mentioned in your postmaster relay mails and domain mails refers to both relay and domain and all mails defines the mails which are being generated then you have the logging sender match if you enable this then the postmaster enterprise checks that a person cannot send the email in name of some other user so if you have enabled the prefix of the sender then the login sender match will use the prefix of the sender email and it should be the same as the login being used for authentication next you have authentication for mails which are originating from internet ip address the same uh, options are here and this relay and domain mails refers to the mails which are generating from a remote ip address so let's select say relay mails under logging sender match it is as uh, we have discussed before for this local ip as well click on confirm and the settings will be set next option that you have is advanced common for smtp and smtp service now under server settings you have options like ssl enable that is if you select this option if you want to enable access to secure smtp on the default smtp port you can click over here only local ip is ticked then an extra check is done in the smtp where relaying is disabled when mail from is received as blank then you have mass checks per mail that is here if you specify the maximum number of valid recipients that the smtp server will accept for one mail when the recipients exceed this limit that you have mentioned over here the smtp transaction is rejected let's declare say 80 under max valid recipients exception list if you want to put any email id in exception list you can put the same over here this is this check won't be accepted for the email id that you have put in next you have max invalid that is if you specify the maximum number of invalid recipients that the smtp server will allow for one mail when this number of invalid recipients exceed this limit the smtp transaction is rejected so let's again this is 45 recipients for each mail next you have max size of any mail that is it specifies the maximum permitted size of email that the smtp server will accept so let's five mb now you have time restricted max size check that is if you have enabled the option that is time restricted max size check then it will check with the time from from time to two time the maximum size of any mail then under connections you have the maximum number of smtp connections that can be made to the server at one time under socket settings you have the buffer size it specifies the temporary storage size for the socket connection refresh that is uh, specifies the time interval after which the server will refresh the connection with the email client so as uh, 300 minutes that is it will check for that let's put it to 30 minutes so in 30 minutes the connection will be checked with the email client next under read time out you specify the time interval in seconds after which the server will terminate an unsuccessful read attempt after your email client then you have the read time out it specifies the time interval in seconds after which the server will terminate an unsuccessful secure connection attempt with your email client 
So this is how you can do the settings for your SMTP server in Postmaster. After all that you have configured, click on confirm and save the advanced settings. Hope this is clear to you. In case you have any concern regarding configuring your SMTP server, do write to us at support at qlc.in. Thank you.